Greetings, I'm Sir Vane Glory, and welcome to part 62 of season 2 of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. So, in between parts I've been doing a bit of electrical work. I need to get this substation connected up. In fact, yeah, we do have off uh, construction offices assigned. Um, yeah, and that's to resolve the issue about the buildings here being without power. Intermittently. So, we had, uh, or I had, an extra connection available up here, so I run some high voltage wires along here, down across the railway, into that transformer. And I've also run some underground cables out to another transformer up here, or a, yeah, transformer. So that I can connect up this small uh, substation here. And it leaves me connection still in there. We've got substation there that provides power to this area. This one here is in some of that, most of that area, so I could drop another transformer somewhere in the centre here. If we end up very densely populating this area, which I think we might. Um, but this is going to take a long time, so that's down at medium priority. We'll focus on getting the power for this area sorted out first of all. I also had to do a wee bit of power work over here because I had a substation in there but it wasn't powering this pump jack. So I've moved the substation there and put in a transformer here that's connected up to where the gas powered plant will be and that's Connects up to a substation there, and we'll have another substation somewhere over here. Yeah, it's a water substation. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to have a transformer up there probably. Because if I have a few recycling factories there, they will need a lot more power. Okay. I... Right. For some reason, these pipes aren't connected. Don't really need th this one just now because we can't build that until this road's done, and I don't want to start building anything else. We have plenty of oil. So that's not hitting zero at all. It doesn't even get down below 20, I don't think. 0.2, sorry. So, uh, yeah, this could do with a bit more. But you should be okay, yeah. Right, so we'll get this one pump jack connected up. We need this completed. We just need workers. Right, that should hopefully be enough. And then we can ease off on the oil production and focus a bit more on electricity to start with. But I'm also going to want to get this bridge under construction before too much longer. Uh, no, I've not assigned no construction offices to that. Technical services, so that we can get snow ploughs across here. I don't think that's going to be done. May or it should be done before the winter's out, hopefully. I will asphalt up the connection down here so we can get the bridge. Yeah, but to begin with, this needs to be complete. We're waiting for concrete. Uh, we've got. I had to move the uh, temporary construction office from up here down here to get uh, the cables in. So I'm going to add uh, what I'm looking for here concrete mixers. Let's get a couple of them. Go for that. And then we can assign. Concrete. Uh, into there. I've also, yeah, we've got three big dumpers up here, so what I'm going to do is assign these to just run bios and forwards from there to here. Wait until unloaded there. Uh, quarried stone, quarried stone. Yeah, and wait until loaded there. 
you go. Just to try and increase our throughput here, because I can't connect up uh, storage with conveyor connections here. We shall explore that in just a second when I've got this done. So you, there to there. Codestone unload. Codestone load. Off you go. Yeah, because I, I did think about I could put a uh, aggregate storage up there and conveyor it down, but as you can see, the conveyor input connection, which should be up here somewhere, has disappeared. Very strangely. Right, and now we can sell these small dumpers. Thank you for your good and loyal service. There should be one more, there it is. Alright. Twenty six tons quarried stone. And you have, um, no, you have one hundred and eight tons, one hundred and nine tons at the moment. Yes, yeah, so that should be fine. By the time, because this has got an input capacity of ten tons. So you'll come in and sit, and then you'll be waiting. This one will head back up and load up, so there should be a decent cycling through there. We should hopefully see these sit idle for a bit, while this is at maximum capacity. How are we doing? Not really getting anywhere. Let's increase the number of workers. See if we can get more folks to come across from the flats here. Let's speed this up a bit. I'm still waiting for steel as well. Hopefully that's on the way. What are you doing? You wait for a bit of steel too. Now, yeah, you can collect steel from in here. There's plenty. We've also got... Not you... You, where did you get your steel from? Nowhere, because you don't have flat beds. No. You do. You're going to collect steel directly from here. Oh, you don't have flat beds. Well, I'm going to give you some flat beds. How many? Take a couple. Hopefully that'll help out a bit. Right, this junction here. Let's set you up. I want that. So you're the secondary road. And here, obviously it should be like that. Here. Right, this road over here done yet? No. You need asphalt and workers. And I want to get this bus stop queued up so that I can then use this access road here to start working on our fire station. speed, that might help. We've got 453 21 plus year olds without a flat. 
Where do I have three beds? I'm just going to open up uh, whatever we have. Yeah, okay. Now citizens to move in. And if there's pollution problems, so be it. I moved everyone out here because the unemployment was incredibly high. And we still only get 40... Uh, ...warders in the prison. Let's take you down to 50. 45. And we'll allow folks to move in here too. And damn the unemployment. Right, looking goodish here. Just need this to be complete, two days. Can't get any more workers in there. I guess there's a, and there we go. Bus on the way. Done. You still don't have power. Oh my god. You're in a different section. How frustrating is that? Okay, still only need um, workers. I should have looked to see what stopped production. Hopefully not this. It was this because there's no damn coal. You! Stop loading gravel. Focus on the coal, please. Actually, what do you have? Covered hull. I don't know whether they're still needed up here. Well, take steel from there. Yeah, you unload it down here. But I don't need heating problems. Come on, hopefully there's a cold delivery on its way up. Oh, it's working again. Right. Uh, let's destroy those. Who's not happy about heat? Everyone. So, yeah, that has been completely switched off for too long. Let's get the hot water tank. You're heading back up towards 60. You're still down at 37. I'll slowly recover. Electricity problems. Yeah, I can't do too much about that actually here. Maybe I could begin working on this cable. It's probably worth doing that, isn't it? Well, it's already working. Well, we've assigned everyone to it now. Let's just check and make sure it's all one section again. Yeah, it should be good. Right, do you have power now? You do. Temperature in buildings too low, but hopefully power will be fine. And that's so why the sewage tank's overfilled here now as well. Why the hell is that? Operating without issues, but it's just to do with the number of workers. Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is just about. They are just about getting on top of it. But obviously, productivity has dropped. Um, can't remember now where do you see productivity. But my average productivity has dropped because people are unhappy. But as long as you keep getting code delivered, I'm going to up the number of workers there to 30 as well. There's coal. 40 tons as well. Yeah, so you should be fine. As long as you keep running, you stay hot. I want one of these buildings here. Still a bit without power supply. But the temperature's fine. Power's varying wildly. It's okay. Over here, let's get this bus stop under construction now. And you're done. You still got a long way to go. Good enough. Uh, now let's just have a quick check, make sure that we're not going to run out of meat. Plenty in there. Good. We've got enough for now. And clothes and electronics. I just want to check, make sure that people are going to get all their amenities. going to end up with further reasons for unhappiness because the shops are out of goods. Electronics was the last one uh, in there. Yeah, producing plenty. You know, well enough stocked it seems. I'm still not getting anything like enough uh, workers in here, and if we check here, 111 unemployed, plenty of jobs available for you. Let's have a look. Uh, your average government loyalty is 64%, so 70s and 63s and 70s and 69s and 62s, and 70, 30 there. 70, 65, 44. Yeah, there's more than enough folk up here with government loyalty that we need. Maybe too many with university educations, but then this doesn't specify. You can have university educated people working here, and the same here. I don't know why I keep tormenting myself with this. Not having enough orders, not enough, having enough tutors. Oh my goodness, 62. That's why 62, that's incredible. Anyway. Happiness is holding steady. None are polluted in drinking water. That's only one person though. 10% of people are starving. That's just due, through to la due to laziness because there's plenty of food around. Oops. Yep. No reason for people to starve. You can get off your backsides and go out and buy food. Am I being a bit harsh? Possibly. But never mind. No, I'm not. Everywhere's in decent walking distance. You don't need to get public transport or anything. You've got nice clean paths in some, some uh, situations. You're researching, yeah, oh, yeah, dry dock design for some reason. You're researching 
preventive medicine. Which maybe I've gone for the cold resistance. Given how precarious this was for a while. You are. You're actually being done very quickly. You just need a wee bit of electronic components later on. And. We need this belt. Forgotten about that. Uh, you get on there and there. Yeah, but that shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, this will be done by the time this is done. Let's stick you in as high priority. And you as well. But I think that should allow me to do some asphalting. Happiness has come up by a percent. Do we go with this? I don't think that's that essential right now. So I'm going to go back up here and do this. We're there just now and up here. This is this is hideous, absolutely hideous. Now you can get up around there, so I'm going to do that section. Maybe even do that section and that. Because there's no through traffic necessary in there. Once you get past these access roads. How long till you're done? 296 work days. We're getting there. Electricity problems. Not really a concern. You started, you are well underway actually. How about you? Yep, just need the workers. Going to teach you to 50. Yeah, give some folks along from here, hopefully. There we go. And that should be bombed through as soon as you get your steel and electronic components, anyway. Right. Uh, what I'm looking for over here. That pipe's done. You're still pumping through here. Consuming everything. But you've built up quite a stock now. So that's slowly building up. When it gets to 450 tonnes, obviously, then this will start backing up. We've got 900 tonnes of bitumen. Am I exporting bitumen? I should be. I am. So even with that... And all the, uh, the asphalting of the roads that I'm up to... I'm creating a more bitumen than I can actually get rid of. Fair enough. Right, what I could also do now, actually, thinking about it, is start to... asphalt up this section of road. Yeah, 
find your supplies, you do not. Here's some electronic components, I think. Yep. And hopefully there's steel somewhere not too far behind. Here it is. 1.3 tons of steel on an awfully big truck. There we go, that'll be done immediately. Fantastic. These cables are done. You are without power supply. So we just need this to be complete. Four work days. 62 work days. Hang on, hang on. This was a separate section. This one here, but... I think it's very short. Let's mark you as high priority. Why did I check that? 62 days. Right, electronic components for both. But we're almost there. stops done here, let's 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 demolish uh -oh. that give me that instead and we'll just gravel those two sections up just now No, there's no point graveling them up. We're going to be out of the winter soon enough. We'll just do that and that. And assign all the construction offices to our fire station. Not that we're going to have any workers there for a while, actually, now that I think about it. We could bring workers possibly across that bridge, but it's a hell of a long journey because they have to come all the way out and then back. Hmm. We'll get there. You're still working the gravel section. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully we only lose one building to fire. Maybe we won't lose any. Maybe we'll get lucky. Right, you need to just the workers. Why have you no workers coming across? Everyone's busy going elsewhere. They're high priority. There must be a yeah, bus on the way in. With nobody. Are you going to collect? Yeah, yeah. Right, you'll pick up eventually. Heating problem, I don't like that. Let's have a look. Overlay. Why is that? Without a power supply, that's rubbish. And when was this disconnected? You without power supply? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's the reason. I thought the connections had disappeared. Right, the bus is just arriving. There should be absolutely no way that gets down to twenty, uh, down to zero, before another bus comes in. Especially when we've got a prison bus heading in as well. Yeah. Okay. So that's Rector happiness, sent below fifty percent. And again, I wasn't paying any attention to it. So, on my own head, be it. Right. 
Okay, never mind. We'll get there. We'll recover. Recovered from worse. Yeah, we just need workers to get across here. Hmm. You can up to all of those. You don't need to be connected over here. So you should be okay, hopefully. We'll see. Anyway, it's time to put in a break. So, thanks very much for watching this rather confused episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.